everyone and welcome to another homemaking vlog here on my channel Hattie Homemaking. Today is going to be another chill day at home so if you do enjoy the style of homemaking cozy day at home videos and make sure you do subscribe because I upload them quite frequently so today is going to be a low energy day. I've had a couple of high energy very fast paced work days recently so I like to vlog on my slower days. Um, Murphy's right next to me for all the Murphy fans out there. <laughs> I love how much love Murphy gets on my channel. It just makes me so happy because I love him so much. Please excuse my hair today. So um, yesterday I did that. Um, I showed it in one of my vlogs a couple of months ago um, where you sort of tie your hair. Some people use um, socks or a dressing gown thing. But I bought this. Um, let me show you. This sort of like... Um, satiny silk it's just like a long um like bobbly thing <laughs> and you just sort of put it over your head and then tie your hair around it and sleep in it so i did that two nights ago so yesterday i had really nice curls and then last night i just slept with it down and yeah it's just gone a bit i don't know what it's doing today <laughs> it's kind of like wavy but the waves are falling in a weird place so that's what we're doing today so Today I want to get a bit of baking done. I feel like people who watch my vlogs a lot, like I'm actually embarrassed, but I am going to bake another sprinkle cake. <laughs> I genuinely think people are going to think that's all I bake, but honestly it is my family's favourite. So whenever there's talk about what cake I could make, everyone just wants a sprinkle cake and what can I do? I can't turn people down. So I've got the ingredients to make another sprinkle cake, so I'm going to do that. I've also asked for questions on my Instagram for a QA. and a so I'm going to include a bit of a QA and a and yeah, just take you through my nice cozy slow day at home. Murphy's just chilling on his blanket, aren't you? With his tongue out. Oh, you good boy. You good boy. Say hello to everyone. Everyone loves you, Murphy. You're very popular. You are. It looks like he's contemplating it. He's like, am I? Yeah, you are. He's like, are they going to come? Does everyone that love me, are they going to come? <laughs> he always looks at the door when he's expecting someone to come. Ah, you're so cute. Good grief, Murphy. What did I do to deserve you? So I just thought I'd quickly show you this new dress I got as well. I went shopping on Monday and I didn't find much. I might just put the light on, actually. You might be able to see better. Hmm. Maybe not loads better, but a little bit. Um, and this was actually from Tesco. I couldn't believe it. I love it. It's like a long long line one it ties in the middle I love anything on my figure that ties in the middle um I just feel like it gives me a bit more shape and I like floaty things on the bottom it makes me feel more secure about my um self-conscious region is my lower tummy I'm sure a lot of women can relate um so I just like something that ties at my smallest point and then sort of hangs um and I love puff sleeves as well so this has got everything and I love um it's blue as well I love anything blue because it brings out my blue eyes <laughs> oh what is my hair doing today I don't know if to just tie it up Anyway, so this is the dress I got. It was £18 and it's my new favourite. I'll show you a couple of the other bits I got as well now. Okay, so you're now joining me on the floor of my dressing room. Um, but I thought I would show you the other things I got. So the first thing, if I can just untie it up. <laughs> Sometimes I do this, I get new clothes and then just kind of try them on and then throw them and it's actually really bad. Um, so the first thing I got is this gorgeous white um, cardi. It's like a long line. This was from H&M. I got it in a size small because it's already quite oversized and long line. So it will go over leggings and things. It was £20 and I just really love it. Um, it's got the buttons and then also it's got these... Um, if I can show you. It's got these slits up the side so it's long line but because of the slits it will just sit really nicely and I think it will just be really lovely for days where I want to wear leggings and I like to cover my lower region. <laughs> 
I never know what to say. I always envy people who, well not envy them, it's just different to me, that are just really open about like their bodies and topics. I'm just not, honestly, I've always been this way. I'm just a little bit of a prude. Anyway, so that's a long line, <laughs> a long line cardigan. I also found this skirt. Oh, I've not even done this up. This is <laughs> a wrap skirt from Primark and it's got this gorgeous lilac-y um, green sort of pattern. Again, it's like a long line skirt. I can tie it in the waist. This is, I don't feel like I'm doing a very good job at showing you these, but I thought this would be really nice with either black tights, boots and like a high neck black top for winter or in summer I think it would be really lovely with just like a white t-shirt tucked in maybe some trainers if you're going for like a really relaxed daytime vibe and yeah I just really love the colours so I got those two things I also got some pyjamas from Primark the Primark pyjamas are my absolute favourite and um, so they're like cream and they've got white hearts on but they're already in the wash because I wore them straight away <laughs> does anyone else do that I know this is so bad but sometimes I'll buy new pyjamas and I won't wash them before wearing them because I'm so excited to wear them and I feel like <laughs> maybe that's a little bit gross and maybe I shouldn't be admitting to that but I just I can't help it like as soon as I buy new pajamas I get so excited to get into them so I got them and I also got some fuzzy socks as well from Primark which are the best so that's everything I got so I just thought I'd show you that just because I know some of you are interested in the stuff I like to wear it's mainly flowy dresses tights I live in dresses and tights it's the most comfortable thing for me I find dresses and tights more comfortable than jeans and t-shirts like by a mile and also it fits my sort of like more feminine vibes that I like to go for. So, come here, do you want to cuddle? He's doing a big stretch. <laughs> Bless him. Okay, I'm going to make a cup of tea now and then relax for a little bit and then we're gonna bake a cake. Okay, so I need to clean my kitchen quickly my friend has just said she's going to drop in for a cup of tea in half an hour so i'm going to do a little half an hour spruce up of the house and clean around so i thought i'd take you with me to go quick excuse you murphy you burped in my last vlog <laughs> you can't start doing this in every vlog people won't think you as cute nah not possible <laughs> i feel like i'm showing murphy in every single clip in this vlog so far so anyway let's get to the cleaning done California The sun is always shining right People are smiling, making plans Hiding behind their shades And you're doing the same No rain, no flowers Nothing's growing where you're at Heart is fire, but baby I bet you're cold without me even when it's 90 degrees Without me, I bet that you can get in sleep In the bed, lying awake Cause I'm not there beside you Keeping you warm and I know I bet you're cold You're so damn cold It never rains in California Sun, it's always shining bright. But if the sky would open up, you're staying home, you don't get out. You always used to love the rain, but LA changed you. No rain, no flowers, nothing's growing where your heart is fire. But baby, I bet you're cold without me, even when it's 90 degrees. Without me, I bet that you can get in sleep in the bed, lying away. Cause I'm not there beside you, keeping you warm and I know. I bet you're cold. You're so damn cold. I bet you're cold. You're so damn cold. No 
flowers Nothing's growing where your heart is fire But baby, I bet you're cold Without me, even when it's 90 degrees Without me, I bet that you can get any sleep In the bed, lying awake Cause I'm not there beside you Keeping you warm and I know I bet you're cold California The sun is always shining right You were the type that eclipsed the room I was the one who arrived too soon but no one would ever bet against us If they saw us exchanging glances I was too busy to fall in love You were too busy to break my heart Nobody else was there to stop us Nobody else was there to want us Now we go on and on with this poor love song Working on far too long, baby Do you still remember when our hearts turned up spontaneously? On and on like a marathon We keep running from fighting for something Something to remind us that we're better than this poor love song Watching the TV screen Now we're just betting on broken dreams Nobody's gonna come and save us We cash in too many empty favors yeah. Now we go on and on with this poor love song We've been working on far too long, baby Okay, so just keeping it real, I've got about 10 minutes to go and I do not have time to sort that big pile of clothes. So my part of cleaning for this house before my friend comes will just be to do this. Bye bye. Now no one would ever know. <laughs> So that is now the living room looking a bit better with the blankets and pillows somewhat in order. I've not done the best job but well. And then I've just sprayed some Febreze around as well just to make it smell nice. If my friend watched this she would honestly laugh her head off at me because I don't need to clean for her but <laughs> I just like to do it. There's nothing that motivates me more than knowing someone's coming around my house but I just wanted to quickly show you this pillow um, that I got from HomeSense. It's divided the family. I love it. Some people don't because it's like bees or wasps but 
I just really love it. I lived in Manchester for a time and actually really sadly during the time where the Ariana Grande um, bombing happened and this was sort of the symbol of Manchester following that and just something that showed unity really so people were putting like these stickers on their cars so it just reminded me of that and also I just thought it was really pretty and cottagey so I got that from Home Sense. I think it was about £12. Yeah that's pretty much all the cleaning done isn't it Murphy? We're all done now even though I've put his toys in his basket and as you can see they're already coming out again. <laughs> so that is all the cleaning done for now. I was going to do the hoovering as well but the charge had run out so um, I couldn't do that. So yes I'm just going to put the kettle on now ready for my friend. Are you coming up? Come on then big jump. Oh there we go. He hates it when I clean. He absolutely hates when I'm running around cleaning. It makes him really stressed. And then as soon as I sit down after it, he just plonks himself down on me. Like, that's better, Mum. I like it when you're lazy. <laughs> Final thing I always have to do after I've done a quick clean is just put away my products. This kitchen becomes my dumping ground. So these are the two cloths I've used. So I'm just gonna throw them in. I've already got some cloths in there so I can put a spin on in a bit to get them clean. And then I'm just gonna put all of these products back away. Okay, so now my friend has left, I'm in a nice chatty mood. I've got a cup of tea to myself. I've just rinsed out the mug I was using when my friend was here. I made another one, so it's a very tea afternoon. But I thought now that I'm all chatty, I thought I would do a little Q&A portion of this vlog. So I asked four questions on my Instagram and I got quite a few questions, so I thought I would answer the ones I'm comfortable with. I don't think I actually got any that I'm not comfortable answering actually. I've probably got some that I'm not an expert in but I will try. <laughs> but no, everyone's been really respectful which I really appreciate so thank you for that. Um, also, I just thought I'd quickly say, I just went on my YouTube, I don't check my YouTube stats anymore um, because I found if I do, it ruins my creativity and my love of YouTube. It's really bizarre, like I get too focused in numbers. So the easiest thing for me to do is to stop checking stats. Anyway, I happen to go on and I've seen that my last two videos are just vlogs of my days at home. The last one I think I put up, from the time I'm filming this, I think it was four days ago, it's already got a thousand views. And then the one before that, I think it's like on 1.4, which was like 11 days ago. And I just find that bizarre. So thank you so much if you enjoy watching these vlogs, because I think that's like a real, always like acceptance of just me as a person. Like I don't have like a super fancy life. I just, I'm at home and I just, I don't know, it makes me feel really loved to so say thank you. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to answer some of these questions now. So the first one I got is, what is the thing you love most about homemaking? So I had to think about this and I think it's hard to pinpoint. I think the thing I love the most about it is it just feels like it's me. Like 
there's so many things in life that I feel like I have to force. So I have to force myself to work out. I have to force myself to read, even though I enjoy it. I have to force myself to get started. There's so many things that I feel like I have to force and homemaking is one of the things that just makes me feel at peace. It's like when I'm cleaning, when I'm looking after my home, when I'm decorating, doing any of that stuff, even just moving things around, um, cooking, baking, whatever it is, it just, it makes me feel at peace and it feels like that's what I'm supposed to be doing. So I think someone's just walked past and seen me filming myself. But anyway, in fact, I'm gonna pull the curtain a little bit so I don't feel embarrassed next time that happens. Okay, so now we've got a bit of a darker lighting, but I can feel free from prying guys. So yeah, I think that is the thing I most enjoy is just, it makes me feel like me. I don't have to force it. It relaxes me, it's peaceful. And obviously the after effects of having a clean home and yummy food is amazing. The next question is, what is your favorite chore in terms of homemaking and why? What's your twist on it? Um, I really enjoy hoovering these days. Ever since I got my cordless hoover, they're not for everyone. My mother-in-law prefers a plug-in one, but I think because my house is quite small, having a cordless one means I can just go around and I love doing what I call a dust hunt. So I love just, if I don't know what to do in terms of cleaning, I love just going around with my hoover and just seeing how much dust I can collect. That sounds bizarre but I just love doing it so I think it's that I also love cleaning my toilet I know that's bizarre <laughs> and I love baking as well um so yeah they're, they're the three things I would say are my favorite um did you transfer oh did you transform the room at the end of your garden into an office I completely forgot I even mentioned that on YouTube so yes we did it turned into an office with um our tumble dryer and then a little craft section as well since that I've brought the desk back in since we both work from home one day of the week so we both needed a desk area um but we did set it up probably one day I'll show you in there properly at the moment it is a little bit of a mess it, we finished it and then since we've taken the desk back out there's a couple of things that are sitting on the floor so just do, don't look the best but yes we did transform it and it looks so much better I will definitely show you soon anyway so I said hi Hattie firstly I love your videos thank you and um, what do you do for self-care um I'm a huge bath lover I love baths um also cuddling Murphy. I do enjoy reading, it's something I have to force myself to do, but I find when I do force myself to read, it relaxes me more than anything else, more than watching TV, even though TV is so much easier. So yeah, I think my my self-care, my, my self-care firstly is just my lifestyle, the fact that I allow myself to go slow sometimes. Um, and yeah, I like baths, reading, cuddling Murphy, and obviously talking to Paul, that goes without saying someone this is a really interesting question actually someone said how to embrace slow living when your family see it as laziness so i have an opinion on laziness in that i don't think laziness in the traditional sense exists i don't think people are lazy for no reason i think there's always a reason whether they haven't found the thing in life that lights them up yet or some people are just slower paced than other people and i think people that are very high energy naturally, sometimes they can't get their head around people who are just naturally have a little bit less energy. They recharge their batteries differently by being quieter, um, going within their self a little bit. So I think it's it depends how you see it. I think laziness should be addressed and you should force yourself to, to do more if it's having a negative impact in your life. So if you're missing out on doing things you really need to do, if nothing's getting done, um, school work or uni work or work work, <laughs> if you're, what are you growling at? I think he's just had a click of the essential oil diffuser and he wasn't happy. Um, so yeah, I think if, it, if it's having a negative impact on your life, we always have to force ourselves to do things when we don't want to do them, whether it be exercise, cleaning, work, there's always, we have to push ourselves sometimes, but there's a fine balance between pushing yourself and knowing when you need to take it slow. So I think be confident in that you know yourself, you know your body better than anyone else. Some people do just have naturally higher energy levels, but then also allow yourself to set self-reflect if it is having a negative impact on your life. So there's a huge difference between slow living and laziness. Slow living is allowing yourself to 
be slow and relax when you need it and laziness has a negative impact on your life that's how I define the two and that's how I would make the decision based on the impact on my life whether I need to speed up or slow down if that makes sense I feel like that was an answer that was around the houses but we got there in the end <laughs> someone said do you shop in any other clo clothing stores other than charity shops isn't that funny someone's asked that right at the start of this video when I shown so yes I will often go to high street stores as well I am trying I'm not the best I am trying not to be so fast fashiony just because I did watch a documentary can't remember what it was what it was called but it was about the effects of fast fashion um around the world and in terms of um the environment in terms of the impact on humans just it was really comprehensive if i can find it i'll leave it linked below but ever since i watched that i said to myself i'm going to make the effort hence why i try to go to charity shops but sometimes i'm only human i do want something new so when that happens i shop in the likes of primark um, that cardigan I got was from H&M. I wouldn't say you get a lot from H&M, just if I see something. I like supermarkets as well. This dress was from um, a supermarket and I get given a few bits at Christmas time as well from family members. But where possible, I do try and go to charity shops and then if there's something I really want that I can't find, it's the likes of Primark. Online, I'll go to Shein. Um, it's quite affordable, not the best quality and definitely fast fashion. Will you stop being so grumpy, please? I'm trying to have a chat to the YouTube peeps. I'm gonna be quiet now. I'm gonna have a sip of my tea while you just have a think about your behavior. Someone said, have you got any holidays planned for this year? We've actually not. We, we think we might do something last minute, but we haven't planned anything. I'm still a little bit nervous with the situation in the world and home is my comfort place and I just, yeah it's not something I'm not a huge traveller anyway I don't I'm not someone who needs to travel to be happy I'm quite happy at home but we might go somewhere last minute if we do decide to get away someone said what advice would you give to someone thinking of their own YouTube channel so I guess that would be the point I've already mentioned which is try not to look at stats too much especially when you first start it can be quite slow um, and it's not a reflection on you I don't think I think when you first start YouTube if you're struggling getting views or you feel embarrassed that people aren't watching please don't worry about that because it's literally just the YouTube algorithm is set up so that the bigger YouTubers that it's easier for them to get on the home page and recommended and things like that and when you first start obviously you've got no subscribers yet some people don't feel comfortable telling their friends and family um so don't overthink that and i would say pick a topic you really enjoy so for me homemaking is like who i am as a person like my whole essence i love homemaking so definitely pick something you know you're gonna love forever but then also don't put yourself in a box too much so i did YouTube I think I've mentioned this before a couple of years ago I did like a fitness and nutrition channel I thought I was going to be into that forever since I did a nutrition degree but actually when I came out of university I realized that topic is so um, competitive online and because I'm not a competitive person I found it very overwhelming the nutritionists that did well online were the ones that like were calling out influencers for promoting things that were wrong and while I think there is a place for that that's just not my personality and I was never going to be able to go down that route so definitely think about who you are as a person what you enjoy and just yeah just and share share what you enjoy and just enjoy doing it have fun with it and don't worry about numbers too much someone said are you a housewife or working so I work full time um four days at home and one day I am out in the office um, and in the community I work I'm very vague about my job because it only exists in certain places in the UK so essentially it's it's mental health essentially like the bare bones of it I work with um mental health people struggling with all sorts of things anxiety depression PTSD bereavement everything um but then also we help with practical issues as well so the idea of my job is people aren't always their mental health is is often affected by practical things as well so we will help them with the likes of benefits housing employment um just yeah we just look at I love my job because it's essentially make people happy that is my entire job role is do what I can to make people happy 
Um, someone's asked, would love some budgeting advice for saving a, for a wedding. Um, I think when it comes to saving, the most important thing is being quite strict with yourself. So if you have a certain income per month, knowing a certain amount of that is for saving no matter what it's so easy sometimes when you want to save and then you see something you want to make allowances but i think that would be my, i'm not the best with budgeting i'm definitely not an expert in this topic actually um living the life you love my friend Kay is doing a series at the moment about saving for her wedding um so i will leave some of her videos linked below actually um i think she's doing like a um, plastic wallet type thing and putting money in each I've not looked into it properly um but that's a really good idea so I will leave them linked below she's probably much more of an expert than I am right now at budgeting hence my shopping spree on Monday <laughs> someone said favorite and least favorite task so I've already said my favorite my least favorite is probably cleaning the shower because I have to get into the shower because it's such a small space and then I feel like the water drips on my head, my feet get wet and I just don't enjoy it. <laughs> Someone said how much longer do you think you will live in your current house? It depends what life throws at us. If we have a family and we can all fit in here happily we'll stay here forever. I'm not someone who needs a great big house, I'm not someone who needs like a lot of materialistic things. I love this house so if we had a happy family here then we'd stay here but if we got to the point where we need a bit more space then we would leave so I, I, I don't I genuinely do not know it depends what happens in life for us I guess someone said tips with being so consistent with quality oh, with quality content on YouTube love your channel that's so lovely um so again I think do what you love I think in terms of consistency from what I've heard it's super important on YouTube to be consistent whether I think I would say as a minimum once every 10 days or once every seven days and I think the only way to do that and be so consistent and upload so regularly is if you are filming something you naturally do within your life anyway so it's not an additional job it's just you're filming something you do anyway if that makes sense so I will do day in life videos I do cleaning because that's what I do in my life anyway so yeah for me it's not much more extra in my week just to film the jobs I do anyway um but yeah getting a routine I did go for a stage where I would plan out my videos um that worked for a short amount of time and I might go back to it but at the moment I'm enjoying being a little bit more chilled with it so yeah just and as well sorry I'm so rambly in this um know why you want to do it like why do you want to be consistent what Murphy you're really not making this easy for me little pudding stop it yeah so I think just just know what the end goal is with with youtube with you do you want to make a part-time income with it that's a good why do you want to make some sort of difference and have a message <coughs> this little puppy i'm gonna have to put him outside for a minute because he's really annoying not outside outside just in the bedroom <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Murphy's in the bedroom for a little bit because he couldn't stop woofing. I think this is the, one of the last questions anyway. So yeah, know why you want to do it. Have an end goal and that will help you be consistent. He's got out of the bedroom and he's now outside the living room door. So you might hear, hear some little squeaks. The next one is, I really enjoy your videos. Thank you. Would you would be inter oh so this isn't a question this is a video request so would be interested in a week of outfits or a week of meals that's a good idea noted added to my list I'm going to finish my cup of tea now I've been talking so much I've actually forgot to drink my tea so it's getting cold but yeah I hope you've enjoyed this little Q&A portion of the vlog I'm going to go and have some lunch now after my cup of tea and then I will pick up the camera again for the little baking section of this vlog. I just thought I would show you, look how blue the sky is today. Spring is most certainly coming and it makes me extremely happy. I've decided to actually make a recipe for lunch today since we've got loads in for dinner and I have this HelloFresh meal that needs using up. I do have a code from HelloFresh, I'm not like, they don't know me. <laughs> of course they don't know me. But when I joined HelloFresh, I think everyone gets it, like you will get it as well. Um, like a code to share with people and then if people use that code, so if you use my code, you will get £40 off and then I get 20, 20 I think, from every person that refers. So I'll put the code 
up and if you want some free money on HelloFresh, it'll also give me some free money. So it works out. <laughs> so I'm going to um, cook this now. I will put the code up as um, I said down. I don't know if it's got a limit to how many people that can use it, um, but I'll put it up and I, I haven't got a huge following anyway, so it should be okay for everyone who does want to use it. But I'm gonna make this Thai style pork rice bowl. I'm not gonna show myself making it. I'm best vlogging myself when I'm cooking a recipe that I already know. I know that sounds bizarre, but I just, I have to focus and be able to like keep reading back and not focus about where the camera is or anything. So that is the recipe. If you want to screenshot it and try and make a similar thing at home. Um, but I'm going to make that now and I will show you how it turns out. <laughs> Okay, so this is the finished result. It smells absolutely amazing. One of my favorite cuisines is anything Asian. So I love Thai food and this is a bit more, I, I wouldn't know what to describe this actually. If anyone knows, let me know. It's got like soy sauce and something called ketchup manis in. <laughs> I'm probably absolutely butchering that. But yeah, I'm so excited. It smells amazing and actually, I ended up filming as I was cooking it because I got confidence as I looked at the recipe and it was so easy, especially with HelloFresh. It's like no measuring. You just, everything comes and it's just so much easier. So there's a piece of stray rice there. I'll put it into the bowl. So I'm going to eat this now. And then finally, we're going to get on to baking this cake that I've been talking about all day. Okay, I'm actually very embarrassed. <laughs> So in one of my last vlogs, I was going to make the sprinkle cake and I did and then I didn't have any icing sugar and the same thing has happened. I never bought any icing sugar. I've gone to make it again and realised I don't have any in. I can't believe it. I'm so annoyed with myself as well because I've told everyone I'm going to make it for this weekend. I've literally got out all the ingredients all ready to go and then realised I don't have the icing sugar. I think I'm going to be a typical annoying wife slash girlfriend slash anyone and ask Paul to pick some up on his way oh no I can't I can't I feel mean doing that okay I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make the cake tonight and then I'm going to put the icing on tomorrow with the sprinkles I picked up sprinkles I literally picked up sprinkles I picked up sprinkles the other day because I knew I didn't have any sprinkles why did I not think of icing sugar I can't believe this has actually happened I need to check the cupboard again I'm so annoyed with myself no it's definitely not there 
Oh, oh, I'm rubbish. I'm the worst homemaker in the world. <laughs> oh, I'm so annoyed with myself. Oh well, oh well. I'm not going to get upset about it. No, I'm just annoyed with myself. So I'm going to make the um, sponge now. And then I'll go out tomorrow. I don't want to go out today. Not, you know, when you're just in that mood where you just can't be around people, don't want to see people today. So <laughs> I'm going to go out tomorrow and then I can just finish it off tomorrow. Or should I just bake it tomorrow? I feel like I've got enough footage for this vlog without baking. And you've seen me make it a million times before. So I'm so sorry about that. I've been going on in this vlog about making this cake. I will find a vlog where I make the sprinkle cake. That's what I'll do. Leave it linked below. So if you did want to see me make it and you were in a baking mood and wanted to watch me do it, you can do it that way. Um, and then, yes, I will make this tomorrow. I will pick up ice and sugar and I'll make it tomorrow. But on the topic of baking, on a more positive note, I'll just show you my Christmas cake, how it came out. So this is how it came out. So it is all, oh, that smells... Oh, that smells incredible. So it came out perfectly and I've been pouring brandy into it every day. So I'm going to put a little bit more brandy in that. I'll seal it again and then this will be ready probably in another three weeks. I'll just keep feeding it with brandy. I got a really interesting comment. I hope the person doesn't mind me um, using the comment as advice. But someone said their mum used to make um, a fruitcake like this for Christmas every year. And she would make it months in advance and then wrap it. I think she said in a cheesecloth. And then she would wet the cloth with brandy, wrap it round, wait until it was dry and then make it wet again. Personally for me, I'm a lot less elegant with it I literally just pour the brandy over it <laughs> and hope for the best so that's what I'm gonna do but just in case anyone wanted a different way of doing it I'm sure you could make it taste just as strong with the brandy with actually using less liquid so it'd be cheaper as well but anyway I'm going to pour some liquid over this now if anyone's interested this is the brandy I'm using this time I just normally you oh i need two hands to open that i usually use just a cheap supermarket one and um, but it ran out so i've just got this so i'm going to undo the lid and then pour the liquid over seal it and then just keep doing that for a couple of weeks Ooh. as you can see i pour a lot of brandy over <laughs> i'm obsessed with it okay that's enough for this time Put the lid on. Oh, it smells so good. I love the smell of it. There we go. And that will just sit on the side there for a couple of weeks until it's ready. Okay, so the baking stuff has now sadly all been put away. What a fail. It's so embarrassing as well because it's like the same fail in two vlogs now. I feel like one time is like keeping it real, it happens to everyone. Second time is just like Hattie you need to get a grip <laughs> anyway i'm gonna leave this vlog here now i really hope you have enjoyed it despite the lack of baking i will see you in the next one if you have enjoyed it please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe i will probably be filming next week or so so i'm aiming for one video a week at the moment and then on the days i have a bit more energy or if i'm off work i'm gonna film twice but at the moment i'm really enjoying the balance of one a week it really really works for me and i'm really enjoying these vlogs as well and I'm so happy to see that you are as well and they're getting views and acknowledgement it's just it's a good feeling so yeah please do like and um, subscribe <laughs> please do like this video and subscribe and I will see you next time